Hey, what's up? It's Karen San Diego, and in today's video, we are going to be doing a meal prep with me. I'm going to be prepping meals for, I want to say the week, but who knows? It could be the week, it could just be a few days, depending on who's eating it, if my husband has some, if my daughter has some, yada, 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 yada. But regardless of how long this food lasts me, this video is about meal prep. And for me, the way that I like to meal prep is I don't like to put containers with exact meals and put the protein and the side and the veg and everything together. I like to prep components. So what I will do is I will make a few different proteins, a few different carbs, a few different vegetables, a few different options. And then every day I'll give myself the option to decide what I'll eat that day. So let's say if I made some chicken, I made some shrimp, I made some rice, I made some broccoli. Maybe some days I'll just have the shrimp and the broccoli. Some days I'll have the chicken and the broccoli. Some days I'll have the shrimp and the rice. Like I'll mix it up, but I'll just prep the components of the things that I'm going to eat throughout the week. But before we get into my meal prep, I just want to take a second to talk about the sponsor of today's video, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for anyone who loves learning and wants to explore their creativity and learn a new skill. Skillshare is a great way to invest in yourself and your personal growth. Have a specific skill you're trying to learn? Skillshare is the perfect place to start. From things like creating your own YouTube videos, from learning how to use things like Excel, or even making your own clothes. You can definitely find classes that match your goals and interests. Skillshare is ad-free, so you can stay in the zone while you're exploring new skills. New premium classes launch each week, so there's always something new to discover. And their entire catalog is now available with subtitles in Spanish, French, Portuguese, and German. If you are a returning subscriber, then you've already heard me talk about Skillshare before, and you've already heard me talk about this specific creator on Skillshare before, and that is the Final Cut Pro X Beginner to YouTuber course taught by creator Ali Abdal. This class does an amazing job at breaking down how to flawlessly edit YouTube videos using Final Cut Pro X, which is what I use to edit the video you are watching right now. Ali breaks this class down for beginners, and since I recently transitioned from using iMovie to Final Cut Pro X, I definitely put myself in the beginner category. If you're interested in using Skillshare to learn a new skill, make sure you go down to my description box. The first 1,000 people to sign up using my link will get their first month free on Skillshare. And without further ado, let's get into today's meal prep. All right, so the first thing we're gonna go ahead and prep today is gonna be some salmon salad. And this is similar to, you know, tuna salad or chicken salad that you might have. But unfortunately, I realized recently that I think I'm allergic to tuna salad for whatever reason now. Sad story, but you know, I ate tuna salad, had a really bad allergic reaction to it, so I'm off that, not doing that again for a while. So in substitute of tuna, I've been doing the salmon salad. And let me tell you, it is so much better. Um, the way I'm able to jazz this up is just, it just, you know, it just hits different, okay? Just trust me on this one, it hits different. What I love about the salmon salad is it is so versatile. So I'll eat this by itself, like literally just scoop into a bowl, eat it completely by itself. I can have this with some low carb um, tortillas. I can have it with some crackers. I can have it with like a slice of 647 bread and make like a little sandwich. You could even like, if you eat pasta or if you have like low carb pasta, you can add this in there and make like a pasta salad. Like, look, there's so many different ways that you could make this, but it is just really, really, really good and really easy to make. Like, honestly, you pop this in the air fryer for, I don't know, maybe like 10 minutes or something like that. Comes out perfect every single time. Um, I'll show you more so when I get into actually cooking it. And then I just want to flag that you're going to see me using a good amount of avocado oil throughout this video. I know some people like to stay away from using a lot of oil because of the calories or the fats or whatever, but honestly, I'm not worried about it. Um, yeah, I don't know what else to say. I'm not worried about it. I don't eat that much food. I'm not, I don't count calories or anything like that. I just stick to my portion sizes. I think that adding the oil adds flavor. It also adds, um, it helps the seasonings really stick to it and help it cook better. So I'm going to use my oil. If you're worried about oil, skip that. You don't have to add it, but me, I'm gonna add my oil. 
and then I'm just gonna pop that into the air fryer on 400 um, I don't exactly know how long it takes I think about 10 minutes but just keep looking at it when it's done it'll <laughs> look done I don't know um, I'm not one of those cooks that have everything down to a science I kind of go based off it looks done it's done <laughs> And once the salmon is in the air fryer, I'm gonna go ahead and start seasoning up some chicken breast. So I told you I like to make components. So my two proteins that I'm prepping for this week are the salmon salad, and I'm also gonna be prepping some grilled chicken. I'm doing more of like a Caribbean vibe type of grilled chicken. And just like the salmon, this is also very versatile. There's different things that I can make with this. My main thing that I'll probably do with this is just, you know, eating it by itself I'll eat it with some hot sauce or some sort of so sauce on the side and just eat this as like a lunch eat just the protein nine times out of ten that's what I do when it comes to my protein I usually eat it by itself I don't usually even bother with side dishes except for breakfast and we'll get into that in a second um, but I also specifically made this with like jerk seasonings and a lot of Caribbean seasonings because I did see at a restaurant they had jerk quesadillas on the menu and I was like, yeah, I'm gonna need to find a way to make that. So I figured I can make this and I can cut it up and one of the days out of the week I can make some jerk quesadillas using my low carb wraps that I like. Um, so that's what I made this, but for the most part I do intend to just eat this chicken by itself um, as a for lunch or something like that. Usually I like to season my chicken and then leave it in the fridge for a day like I leave it in overnight But in this case, I didn't have enough time to do that So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna season it earlier and then cook everything else That should give it about an hour in the fridge to just marinate and soak in all the flavors So I'm just gonna do that put it in the fridge leave it there for an hour And then I will come get this when I finish prepping all of my other components Now that the salmon is done, I'm gonna take it out and just let it um, cool down for a little bit while I prep the other components for the salmon salad. Now, this is where it's definitely gonna depend on who you are and what your taste buds are like. For me personally, I like my food to be outrageously spicy. That is what I like even before surgery. I love spicy food. But one of the tricks that I have is after surgery, since my stomach is not sensitive to spicy food, I know some people do complain that their stomach is not um, here for spicy food anymore. That's not me. So I like to make my, my food spicy because just by nature of spicy food, I'm not going to attempt to overeat it because it's so spicy. And I also just really like the taste of spicy food. So I'm chopping up a whole lot of jalapenos and then I add in some red onions. Since the salmon is already pretty seasoned, I don't need to add anything else other than the jalapeno and the onion to this. So I just go ahead, take the salmon off the skin. Then I'm gonna mix in the jalapeno. I'm gonna mix in the red onion and then add some mayonnaise and put that back in the fridge to chill while I cook everything else. And when I tell y'all this is good, look, y'all don't have to try it for yourself because I can't, I, could, I can't even tell you how good this is. It is so, so, so good. My favorite thing to make by far. And I can never not let my eyes burn. If I cut onions, my eyes are burning every single time. Please send help. Send help, please. I can't do this. Y'all, look at this finished product. Ain't it pretty? I love adding vegetables. Well, is these really vegetable onions? I like adding any type sort of like extraness to my dishes. The I think the jalapenos and the onions just give a little bit of a pop of color. It looks appealing and it is delicious. So I hope you definitely try this one. 
just go ahead and put it in the fridge. It tastes the best if you let it just sit in the fridge and chill for about an hour and then you taste it. Ooh, mm mm mm. <laughs> Next, I'm gonna get started prepping these potatoes and the potatoes that I'm prepping are actually not meant for lunch or dinner. These are going to be breakfast potatoes. I eat these usually with the eggs, so I'll do like a scrambled egg or like a runny fried egg with these potatoes and baby, ooh, so good. I specifically like to have breakfast potatoes on deck. I don't eat them every day, but every now and then I like to eat breakfast potatoes just because I love eating carbs in the morning. I know a lot of y'all are still scared of carbs. I'm not scared of carbs, and I especially like to have my carbs in the morning. One, because if you eat your carbs in the morning, you will burn them off. And, um, you know, if you eat carbs later in the day, you won't have enough time to burn them off, and then, you know, that's how they end up being, you know, pesky. But eat them in the morning, you burn them off. Also, for me, I notice if I don't have carbs in the morning, that's when I'll get those headaches, I won't feel good. And also, I notice that if I don't eat carbs in the morning, then when I take my vitamins in the morning, I'm more likely to feel sick from my vitamins. If I eat carbs with my breakfast, and then I eat, I take my vitamin after eating a, a carb-rich, um, breakfast i never feel sick from my vitamins so that's another thing another pro tip with that is if you're gonna you know have something that has more carbs have it earlier in the day so you can um burn it off and also have it early in the day or around the time that you take your vitamins it'll definitely make it easier to not feel sick from your vitamins um yeah at least for me that's helped you can let me know if that's helped for you or if you just still completely avoid carbs but i do not i eat carbs i just you know i do it in moderation and of course you know i'm gonna add the rest of these jalapenos to this because i love everything spicy like i said i just love burning the roof of my mouth clearly And while I'm prepping for the potatoes, I'm also gonna prep this broccoli. Now, let's be honest. I'm not gonna have the broccoli every single day. The broccoli is kind of like an addition. So like if I'm eating the chicken by itself, I may put some broccoli on my plate. Maybe I get to it, maybe I don't, but I like to have it there so that if I have a little bit of extra room, I can get some greens in. I like to try my best to get as much nutrients as I can from food. So broccoli is a great way to do that. So a lot of the times I'll eat my protein that I'll be full of the protein alone so I don't actually get to the broccoli, but it's still good to have available um, in the event that you do have some extra capacity in your stomach for something else. You wanna make sure you get those greens in. So I like to have broccoli all the time and I'm cooking the broccoli before I do the potatoes because I wanna do everything in this one pot. So I'm just going to keep um, using the same pot, washing it and cooking something else in there. So I steam the broccoli, put that to the side and then I'm going to go ahead and start cooking the potatoes. For the potatoes, I just start by sauteing my bell peppers and my onions. I don't know, is it just me or do bell peppers not actually taste like anything? <laughs> like to me, bell peppers are really just garnish. They don't, to me, they don't do anything for the dish. They don't add anything. They don't take anything away. They're just there for garnish. They, they look cute. So I'm adding my bell peppers because they look cute and they make me feel good when I eat them. Um, I love eating aesthetically pleasing looking meals. So bell peppers do that for me. Once I got them to where the onions are translucent, I'm gonna add in the potatoes. And the potatoes, I honestly um, overcooked a little bit. Yesterday, I boiled them and put them in the fridge to cool down. And I think I kind of overboiled them. So I'm being really, really gentle with how I'm moving them around the pot so that they don't end up getting mushy. Cause you know, this is not mashed potatoes. I want them to keep their shape. But I definitely do recommend if you're gonna cook this to cook the potatoes ahead of time so that they can chill before you actually cook them because if they were hot when I started cooking them, they would have definitely got mushy. But they stayed intact because they were cold when I started. You know, just transfer that into a dish and let that cool down before I transfer it into the um, fridge. 
And if you see those little burnt bits, I actually love those. I intentionally burn um, the potatoes a little bit because I think it tastes so good with a little bit of char on there. Mm. And then for my broccoli, I'm going super simple with this. I actually don't do the most when it comes to broccoli. I like my broccoli with a little bit of butter and salt, and that is it. The only other way I like broccoli is with, um, like, from the Chinese food store, like chicken and broccoli type broccoli. But when I make it at home by myself, I just put some butter and some salt, and that's it. Like I said, this is not something that I'm even, I know I'm not going to eat all of this broccoli. There's, like, no way. I usually just get to my protein, and that's it. But, you know, it's good to have. And then I'm gonna jump right into making the chicken. So it's been about an hour, it's gotten to marinade. I'm just going to grill that chicken up, get some nice grill marks going on there. This, like I said, I'm either gonna chop it up and make like jerk chicken quesadillas, or I'm going to just eat it as is. Just put some hot sauce on the side and you know, it's good just like that. Nine times out of 10, like I said before, I really do just eat protein most of the time. And then I always like to have a little bit of a vegetable or sometimes a carb on the side for if I get to it. But I prioritize my protein, so that's what I eat first. If I get to other things, I get to it. But this chicken, ooh, when I say flavorful, girl. And just like that, everything is done. This is everything that I've prepped for this week. By no means am I only gonna eat the things in this video. These are just things that I like to keep on deck for when I'm hungry, I already have food to go. All right, so that is it for today's video. Hopefully you found this video helpful. Hopefully you saw some things in here that'll help you out in your meal prep, give you some ideas for some new meals you may not have been thinking of before. I know for me personally, I am currently looking to spice it up with the meal prep. Um, I like to make different things every time, so I do get pretty creative with my meals. Um, this one wasn't the most creative that I've done before, but you know, it's not gonna be fancy every time. Sometimes in this journey, I've learned that the more simple you're able to make your food, simple but good. Let's be clear, simple but good, but simple. The more simple you're able to make your food, sometimes the easier it is for you to stick to what you are supposed to do. So that is just my take on things, but hopefully you can resonate with that. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Karen San Diego From BK to Belly It's anywhere she say so She changing your life Can see it straight through her eyes